Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode playthrough. As you can see, I am just over here, and I've actually added a new interface, because I have crafted up a couple more, uh, two more controllers, now that uh, we got the PCB things made a little bit easier last episode. And um, I've also gone ahead and crafted up a whole bunch of seeds. Um, I went ahead and got nether quartz, I got tin, I got bronze, fiber and alloy, dash we got a while ago, and steel is the two main ones I got in the tier 5, and then I needed nickel for invar, and we got fluix, uh, star metal, because you need a lot of these star metal um, to actually make the tier 4 seeds, um, but basically just kind of keeping an eye out for uh, what I need uh, moving forward here. Basically, just anytime I'm like noticing something, I'm just like, okay, let's make a, a seed for it. And um, yeah, end steel and vibrant alloy get used a lot in the controller recipes. But uh, I want to make another controller. And uh, as you can see, there's a couple things here. One, iridium. I need to get iridium seed. Actually, there we go. Let me just put that down. Get iridium and uh yeah, these uh, i don't know i really i don't know how to i haven't really done any like i don't know what the automation with that is going to be um there is not vibrant void oh my god not coil void there we go get some more how about yeah sure why not 100 <laughs> We use these a lot. Um, I think it, uh, that, yeah. Yeah, these are used in those crystal clusters. That's why we use a lot. Um, but uh, I am going to try and see if we can this. While I'm here, let me just do that. Ruby, can, is it Ruby, is that? Ah, there is Ruby Essence, so. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. I don't use Rubies a lot, and uh, I'm not gonna do that right this second, but I'm thinking, I think we can automate those unassembled PCBs right there, can't we? Um, the unassembled. Yeah, that to that, I, th I think, maybe. Yeah, just that to that. And I think if we just throw that in there, won't this just do it all for us? I, uh, we do have to worry about the pressure. Uh, I could do, basically what I did over here was tell the recipes to add coal, one or two pieces of coal, so they would go in there and keep the pressure up in here. But this is a little more awkward. I guess we could add, uh, let's, we can try, um, yeah, let's, let's try at least. I don't know what other way to, no, oh, that's not what I want. I want the actual, yeah. I don't know the best way to automate these actually. So say, uh, I don't know, it does need quite a lot of, It does need quite a lot to get up. I think it's three and a half it needs. And this will, if I get upgrade these air compressors, this would go faster, but I don't know. Let's, let's just try and see what happens. I have absolutely no idea. If we just do this and make even more mess in our base. <laughs> So like, I'm pretty sure it's not going to put <laughs> the unassembled PCB. So maybe, I mean, I don't think it's going to extract that and put it in there, but who knows? Should we put a filter on just in case? I don't know. Let's, let's test it. 
So ah, green plastic. And plastic, plastic, plastic. So annoying. Running out of oil, but we will get that automated really soon here. Alright, that's just going. So Yeah, it should be crafting and then got everything in there. Still haven't increased the size of this. Still want to do that. All right, so there's that. So it should put in there. All right, there. Coal went in there. And I think, I don't know if that's going to be enough coal because this needs to get up to three and a half. We, uh, that's not going to be enough coal. Um, it is it is pretty cool uh seeing that all right eight is well it may be i may add more just to speed it up a bit obviously if you have four going all right but uh, yeah and then i guess hmm, i would have to do I would have to put a filter on that for, uh... oh man, I don't have paper. Do we have, do we not have sugar anymore? We had sugar over here. How do we make paper in this? There's, yeah, sugar. I've gone through all my sugar cane. <laughs> I feel like that's impossible. No, that's right. Duh. What am I talking about? What are we talking about? Yeah, that's how we do it. There we go. So that will be the filter. And then I guess we'll just do... The unassembled so looks like it's done put it back in there extract whitelist all right there we go so that probably put it back in so i think i probably need to add maybe like 16 or something to that maybe um but Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, coal. We we grow coal anyway, so. About 100. All right, uh, but today uh, I also have gone ahead and. Oh, there's two oak chests. Dang it. That's right. I don't know which one's which. There we go. Yeah, so uh, we look over here. We've gone ahead and got a fluid cow, a whole bunch of parrots, some sheep, and uh, we got a liquid antimatter cow. So apparently, we capture this and put it in a mob duplicator and set to not do the specific. You can either do specific or just like match MBT or whatever. If we don't do that, it'll spawn a whole bunch of different types and we can get a oil cow, um, a fluid oil or whatever it's called. I don't know the exact name, um, but if we can do that. We can keep this stored with oil and a whole bunch of these for plastic and uh, we can automate all these because we need cyan and we just saw we need green and black seem to be the ones we go through. A lot of so at least three of these but in order to do that i need to automate oil and uh yeah so there is the mob duplicator is definitely complicated <laughs> it's not an easy craft by any means oh 
take a look at it in a second. Let me just do that. Um, I'm doing that for, I forget, aluminum or something. Yeah, I need potatoes, potato seeds and farinum, but I need potato at 10, 10, 10 for that. Um, but if we look at the mob duplicator recipe with industrial foregrowing, this is very complicated. Lots of different stuff from different mods. We got Drop of Evils, another Rhyme, another Amethyst, Magma Crawlers, this uh, Crystal Gold, Empower, Redstone Ingots. I mean, a whole lot of stuff here because it is quite powerful in this mod pack. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to go through all the stuff that we've gotten from Erebus. And uh, so there's like Magma Crawler Eyes. And I haven't, unfortunately, I didn't over there i wasn't keeping track of what i needed um we need magma crawler i guess that's the only oh just kidding that's the only two from that. Ah, i remember the wand of animation which we're working towards uh preservation wand of animation that has a lot of like different things from erebus i noticed bamboo jade Bioluminescence, Amber Star. Yeah, that's the one that has a bunch of that stuff. But I mean, and then you need two of those. So um, yeah, let me get this kind of organized here, I guess. We just do, yeah, unfortunately you can't. I wish you could click them in, but I'll just, you know, do this. We need a couple of different plastics and a whole bunch of different mods. Basically, it's just like a whole heck of a lot of different mods. You need some of their items, which, you know, is pretty cool for, or pretty standard for a expert mod pack. So let me cut here and we will come back. All right, we are back and you may notice I have our reservoir in my inventory. Actually pretty easy to craft up. I have everything. Uh, so I just crafted one of those up and portable tank. And I'm just filling this up with a little bit of essence um, with the fluid extractor. So, or the fluid... Uh, dictionary basically using the liquid exp that we've collected and turning it into essence and we're just using that because we have thousands of uh, thousands of levels or a thousand levels ish so yeah we need that for the mob duplicator so before we go over there let's grab this Right, I needed the crystallized gold. Easy enough to get in that crystallizer thing. And there we go. So mob, duplicator, I had everything. Just getting it all together is a bit annoying. But that should be a quest, yep. And I'm just doing it over here because, you know, why not spawn some cows right next to where we launch spaceships? That seems to kind of go together, right? We'll do that. Put the Bob duplicator down. I also have a grass seed, so there we go. That'll just spread. And um, that should have power. It does. Now, does this? Yeah. Unfortunately, it, like once it finishes, it, it drops down there, so that's a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, we do have this. And. Um, Put range add-ons in there. I don't know. Maybe we should put like a range add-on of like two, maybe. No. And I actually think maybe put any any fences or anything. Wall, yeah. Let's do a wall. I don't know. I just like having a wall. <laughs> stops them. Sort of. Not always, but stops them from falling off the edge. But yeah, so I think that hopefully this will do what I think it will. If not, that was a bit of a waste of time. But I mean, not, not really. I had everything for this machine. And, uh, it only took me 
few minutes to build out this platform. All right, so in theory... Yeah. All right, so there's resin. And I'm thinking we just... Yeah, do that. There we go. All right. So I may need to pause this. And uh, all right, tectonic petrothium, liquid hydrocarbon. Maybe I need to look into some of these. Like tectonic petrothium. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking this one. Whatever one. What do we use for fourth degree ingots? Right? No. Oh, four three. Yeah, to try to put throat in. So that that's what we use to do the ingots. Alright, so I'm thinking okay, resin, don't need. Buy resin. Bio crude, don't need that. Liquid, hydrocarbon, don't know. I have no idea what that is. What's it for? Extra planets. Thanks. Alright, maybe we'll keep on that one, but yeah, maybe just basically just mushroom stew. Don't need it. Nap the, nap the. What do we got over here? Molten lumium. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let me continue doing this until we kind of get the one we want here, and uh, yeah, we'll come back. As we can see, there is tons of them. Essence of knowledge. Well, that's, isn't that that, or no, Essence of Knowledge? Yeah, Essence of Knowledge is, hmm, maybe we should hold on to that. All right, uh, now I'm starting to get some ideas here that, I don't know. The problem is, like, okay, flu cows... We can set up like a rancher to get the stuff that I'm pretty sure, but uh, is that, I mean, how much are we really gonna get out of it if I need thousands of buckets of it? Um, all right, uh, yeah, let me kind of figure out what I want to do here and we'll come back. All right, that uh, was actually pretty fast. There is our crude oil fluid cow. So I crafted up another mob imprisoned thing. We got lava, molten envar, liquid caramel seed oil and frozen water which i don't think we need any of those um but i kept the i just moved these over here just in case so uh yeah maybe we'll i think yeah i definitely think uh we may um i definitely think we should uh yeah come back to those fluid cows at some point we shall see and um, what I was kind of planning on doing with this is maybe with, oh, actually, no, that maybe not going to work. I was thinking, um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Turn them into blocks. And then if we want, we can just use the wand of animation because we're kind of getting close-ish to that. I say ish because it's not that close. But uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. So we wouldn't even have to do all that stuff, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, what did I need? Nickel? It's like nickel gear, because why wouldn't it be nickel gear? Actually, I have, I think I have, I have two things of all the different types of gears. Like why, why all those different types of gears? Shears. Oh, because, you know, dark shears. No, there's regular shears. And I think that's just glass, isn't it? Or does it need any porcelain tank? Uh, <laughs> at least we have... What am I doing? This does... Uh, Smelting. Easy enough. So glass, porcelain. There we go. 
So I think that is the animal rancher. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm thinking, I mean, we, we've we already kind of established that this is absolutely crazy chaos over here. So I think, um, why not just add a cow right here? Because, <laughs> you know, why not? I think that sounds like a great idea. We put the animal rancher like there even. Oh, facing the wrong way. I have no idea. I haven't used one of these in a while, actually. At least we got... You know, let's add some more... Crazy cabling. That sounds... Sounds like a good idea. I need to get this. <laughs> this thing needs to be moved. If we're, uh... If we need slates in a large number at some point, we're definitely going to be fixing this. I need to just sort the base out, but... Yeah. So there is the rancher. Fluid empty. Um, we can. There is. A f What's the name of it? At industrial. It's an upgrade. I not M stack. The fluid transfer. Fluid transfer. Push down. Pull. Oh, I'll push. Piston and light blue was that? Light blue, no. There's one of there I can probably get one of those. Light blue. This one. There. All right, fluid, what is it? Fluid transfer, I think it was, yeah. Fluid transfer, push. There we go. Uh, so, I, oh, is this? <laughs> Man, this just is so, this, I'm cracking myself up here that this is just so terrible. <laughs> there we go. I don't want this fluid cow to, uh, disappear either so we'll do that and um i can't get away i can't reach the rancher yeah so i think i'm assuming yeah it's in there all right so it looks like every like two minutes and eight seconds that this will i assume i don't think we need this one actually Although, you look like you're uh, a little too excited about the freedom there. Um, so we have the... Oh, I need to set this. So we need that direction. Push south. Right. Looking... Facing north. So we want... That. Oh, I think we want we want that, don't we? Isn't that what we want? Push north. That way's north. Yeah. So there we go. Alright, let me come back in a minute in 19 seconds to see if this works. I really hope it does work. Alright, five seconds left. Let's see if this works. Come on. There we go. Alright. It did the fl it got it. Did it put it in here? And there we go. It put it in there. Now obviously. Oh, next usable now. Is this? Hmm. I don't know. That will. Maybe it just didn't. I don't know. I'm going to leave that and we'll see. Um, hopefully that will. Like in two minutes or whatever the time is, three minutes, hopefully it'll. Do it again. I'm a little little concerned because it's not next usable. It hasn't. This is now. Like, can I? Yeah. So I can see that. That worries me a little bit. Um, but wait, I didn't. 
No, I didn't get anything from it. Oh, okay. So that... Maybe it was... I don't know. I'm going to leave it, and we'll see. Maybe that won't work. But uh, anyway, good to know. All right, we are back, and I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, just crafting up the last of the parts for the next rocket, which is actually... <laughs> It's really not that bad. One, you just put all the recipes in and um, click a button and you get them all. So heavy duty plates. Looks like we need nine more. There we go. Click the button and we get nine more. I did do the heavy copper plates um, and apparently I have completely overestimated. Ah, yes, because the heavy duty plates you get two. So yeah, I did twice as much as I needed, but oh well, just copper that I grow, throw it in there, not a big deal. But uh, yeah, this should be next rocket. Yep, there we go. So tier four rocket, and uh, cross that one off the list. And also a couple things I did. I expanded underneath a little bit with another controller. So as we can see, it's a bit hard to see, but uh, I brought a, I built two more down here and then we connected this one to the side and this one underneath and they're split. So I now have 32 channels there and 32 channels to work with there. And uh, I have crafted up a whole nother bank and a couple more interfaces over here. So we have 32 interfaces on this one and then we have eight on this one. So. That will give us a lot of a uh, lot more crafting things here. So yeah, we have a whole bunch now. Uh, I may throw some of these recipes in. These aren't because these need to stay in there. But I mean, I don't really have a reason to throw most of this. Maybe this. I actually just crafted up some of this stuff with. Uh, the thing so maybe we'll throw these in um i also did some upgrades on my <laughs> cat but uh i did some upgrades on my the pneumatocraft as we can see there's an advanced air compressor here and uh that wasn't actually too bad zircaloy just tin and zirconium you get zirconium from breaking another quartz so that was easy enough, especially with a bunch of looting. Uh, air compressor, the advanced pressure tubes, we now can craft them up using our assembly machine. The only thing that was a little bit complicated was these DU platings. Uh, you need sulfur, some uranium, and uh, to get the uranium, it was actually pretty easy. It was just yeah. uranium 238, yeah. Isotope separator, and you can throw gallorium or uranium. I think there is yeah, nuclear craft uranium down there, but I just had gallorium from all the sifting I did, so I threw that in there. Uh, there is the isotope thing. So once I had crafted up a advanced air compressor, now the air compressor, this one has a temperature. I did not know that. This one doesn't. And uh, it gets super hot, and the hotter it gets, the less efficient it gets until you get to here and it basically doesn't work anymore so I didn't realize that was a thing but uh, yeah basically I'll just throw I don't think anything explodes from getting too hot I don't, I don't think that's a thing but I don't know um, I have some speed upgrades in here so this will go a little bit faster you can throw even more we can already see I added a compressor and a heat sink above it there we go <laughs> We can see how fast it's getting. But uh, yeah, it also burns through coal really quick, as we can see. Um, but the reason I did that is so we could heat this thing up much, much higher than we have been. Um, so as we can see, it's almost 300 degrees. And the reason for that is the fluid cloud that we got does, in fact, keep getting um, 
milked. I don't know if, is that called milked? <laughs> so there's the fluid crude oil in there. This is all full of crude oil now. And uh, I wanted to get this up higher because this goes faster the higher the temperature. So that's why I did that. Uh, the tooltip, if you, like, even if it's been milked or whatever, if I used a bucket and it starts ticking down, it's on a different timer. So I think I had 50 seconds left from the last time when I did that, and it it got another bucket. So yeah, it does indeed work. Obviously, there is the cooldown, so it's not super fast, but uh, yeah, whatever. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> bright red. This one's bright blue. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll basically just throw a stack in there. I, I, I don't... I don't really know like I think you're supposed to like surround this by like compressed iron and do all some fancy stuff but who even why would I want like 87 blocks of compressed iron for something that I don't know maybe we'll get a little more efficient but uh yeah so as we can see much much quicker so we're getting the uh the plastic I could do an export bus of coal but um, built a couple more plastic mixers as we can see this one is locked to black this one is blocked to cyan and this one is just going to fill up for uh random colors or whatever that we need um yeah just thought i would point that out it's just slowly kind of doing it but uh yeah having the flu cow much much easier than uh <laughs> doing like going to the twilight forest or you know ordering it off there and stuff but uh yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to fly up to, actually, I don't, where are we going anyway? I don't even know. I hope it's not Jupiter. All right, well, we got to go to Jupiter, and to get Jupiter, I do need the next thermal. So, tier four thermal padding. Compressed carbon, which we have, and just a lot of compressed carbon, basically. Um, so let me craft that up. Uh, I'll meet you at the boss room on Jupiter, and uh, yeah. See you there. All right, so we are back on Jupiter, and <laughs> as, uh, as expected, it's pretty wild here. Um, I did. F this took a while to find. As we can see, it's pretty hard to see. I just happened to look down and see it. There are villagers, but they... They have the, um, the tier two. They have, like, the tier two trade-in thing, so. Yeah, I don't know. But let's just, unfortunately, it's quite loud. I tried to turn the weather down, but it doesn't seem to affect that. But... There we go. Giant bat. Easy enough. <laughs> oh, I just got an evolved, <laughs> evolved thing. So there we go. Next rocket. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Um, I actually think since I have, oh my goodness, it's so loud. I have my rocket, and uh, yeah, I think we can just do this. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so, all right, there we go. We're back from uh, Jupiter. I never even thought I could do that. Once I just pick up my stuff, I can just uh, portal back. So, there we go. There is the Tier 5 rocket. And, uh, yeah, I just realized I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I forgot to pick up. No, Palladium. That's not... That's, yep. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> yep, I forgot to get uh, palladium. Nah. Yeah. All right. So uh, I got a the. Oh, oh my goodness! How are how is? We'll have to do like a block of palladium and make it wand of animation. I was like, how the heck are we gonna get nine thousand blocks of palladium from something that has no recipe? All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go do that. And, uh, tier six, what? 
Compressed magnesium. I think we get that. We can get that. Tier 7. Reinforced crystal we'll probably have to get somewhere. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, probably not going to show much of that. We'll just show the boss fights. But even at that point, is it is it even worth it? <laughs> when I can just one-shot them? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, still working on the 50,000 ingots <laughs> that we're going to need for the next tier of armor. Oh, I need to repair this. I was getting hit by uh, lightning there, so we don't want to lose that. That would be not good. And, uh, yeah, working our way through Galacticraft. And, uh, man, it's just so repetitive. All right, craft up next rocket, go to the next thing. Go to Saturn, get the tier for the next one, get the next tier, and just like, eh. Thankfully, I don't have to do another thermal padding, because this does Jupiter and Saturn. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.